uh, when COVID hit, there was a stark reality because I had just come back from Florida. I used to go to Florida every year to visit my friends. I moved out to Arizona 2012. And um, when my first nephew was born, and it's just beautiful out here. I just love the desert, but it started getting too hot. So I moved to the mountains in 2022, right before my mom passed. My mom passed from dementia. She had 20, uh, she was 94. I sort of was her sole caretaker. I was her power of attorney, even though she was in a care home. I took care of all her finances and things like that. And, had to come up with money to help pay for my mom's stuff. The the money that didn't, the money that wasn't, um, how would I say, the government or my dad's pension or the stipend she got from the veterans because my dad was in World War II. Like he served during World War II. Um, so I had to sort of bridge the gap and pay for a lot of my mom's expenses. I did what my dad would do. My dad spoiled her for 55 years before he died and I just continued the process. Um, I never bothered my sisters with anything to do with finances. And you know what, if I need something, I can ask my sisters and they'll come up with it, but I just didn't want to bother them with it. I'm single. I only have to take care of myself, which is easy. My younger sister has a family, two beautiful nephews, a great brother-in-law. Um, really a great family my other sister uh has a husband and and she lives her life so I, I just don't want to burden people with things so i just take it on myself and uh sorry <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> still to this day i can't talk about my dad without getting emotional yeah, so that's all, that's what I did. And I just researched it. And when my mom passed, there was really nothing keeping me from hitting the road. So I decided to move into my van because I want to be debt free in five years. So I did a total debt consolidation of my life. Uh, everything that I owed, owed, I hired a lawyer to take care of it just in case I got any legal notices. I've had meetings with him. It's been two years now. Everything's going good. I'm still on track. Um, trying to build up my savings, not paying rent. And I'm lucky to be between my sister and cousin's house. So worst case scenario, if I need somewhere to stay, I can stay at my cousin's house. She has the extra room. I'm sure if I asked my sister, she would let me or um, make accommodations, but they really don't have room. They have a family of four and a big dog. Uh, so that's not really an option. But yeah, I mean, I have everything I need. Everything I need is in here. Look, I have a closet up there. That's all the clothes that I have. I have a duffel bag with mostly underwear and socks. I live super, a super minimalist lifestyle. I just wanted to hang out with you at lunch and talk a little bit about my story. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm gonna finish my lunch. I have a walk every day at lunch just to get out of the van because I am I work on, I think you can see that. I work every day. That's kind of like my workspace. And uh, my workspace, my sleep space, my watching TV space. Yeah, we'll do a part two, part ten, whatever. Thanks for hanging out. Later. Oh,